All right, so we're now comfortable with controlling the lights, with changing colors, changing positions, controlling a, a lot of lights at the same time. Um, so in this video, what I wanna do is I wanna kinda go over my philosophy of how we not only create looks, but how we run things on a Sunday morning, um, how we organize our cues and make sure that we can create consistent, predictable, uh, and really specific lighting cues that allow our songs to be really dynamic. So we have lighting cues that are changing with the song and doing cool things. And I'll, just to show you an overview, so I'm in the Milton Campus file here. Obviously, we have a lot less lights than PLT, um, but I wanted to show you our system and how we program uh, to make it quick, efficient, and look really, really dang good and be able to create sweet lighting effects um, that are repeatable and don't take, you know, your entire life to program. Uh, <laughs> so I want to go into the philosophy of that. And really you need to understand two aspects uh, of the software to be able to do this. And we want that it's presets and cues. So presets are, uh, if you're familiar with the ion, they're a lot like palettes, right? So it's a, it's a way of, of saving specific attributes of lights um, that, uh, that you can call up really quickly, right? So I have like each category of light in a folder here. So I got my like house lights and I've got presets for all of them, full 50%, blue house, 20%, all that stuff. Uh, for my back lights, I've got uh, some effect presets. <coughs> so I got some effects that are saved right? These are all, these are all presets. I've got colors that are presets and all of these things are, um, are saved just like that. I've got, I like that, the strobe, that's pretty cool. Uh, and I've got them for each individual type of light. I've got some bar effects, different colors, things like that. I've got some bar colors saved. And really the best way to think about these is as Lego bricks. These are Lego bricks that you can put together in different arrangements to create cues and different looks, right? So the cue to create the, the the key to creating presets is to make them very simple. Just make them like one piece of an entire puzzle. So for the intimidators, I have a I have a preset that just turns them on. That's all it does. I have presets that change the position of them. Um, so like we've got one that goes on the ceiling a home position, a panels, um, and you can see the little arrows changing as I do that over here. Uh, so that, then I have uh, ones that just change the color of the lights. I have ones that just change the gobos, uh, and that's it, and things like that. So really, these are just little Lego bricks that I can, again, I can mix and match to create different scenes, and that's how I build my service queues. So let's go to my Sunday service queue list right? This is the cue list we used last Sunday. <coughs> so we started out with our pre-service and then when I hit play, now I can just hit go or space bar uh, to run through the entire service. So we go into echo, the lights change for that. Echo starts. Uh, there's the pre-chorus for echo. Here's the chorus for echo. It starts that effect. And I have a cue set for every specific part of the song. So I can go down, I can listen to the song, I can create cues that uh, I think go with the song and go with specific parts of it, and it's repeatable. Now, you might be thinking, oh my goodness, there's no way I'm creating 700 cues a week, and I don't have to, that's the beauty of this. Watch this, so I have two other cues, uh, cue lists here. One is service cues, and this is just my master list for basically the, the different sections of the service. So I have a pre-service cue, a pre-roll cue, video queue, preaching queue, and post service. Then I have a songs playlist, which holds all of the cues for the songs, right? Just like you would build a presentation in ProPresenter, uh, I have my cue list. So there's Build My Life. I've got my set cue, the intro, verse, chorus, and I, I build the song just like that, right? Well, I can now take these songs, say I have a set list, that's, uh, let's say these are in my set list, right? I can just command C, copy those, go to my Sunday service, paste them, or let me get rid of the old cues, the old service cues, 
Uh, so I'm going to take those out and paste the new ones in. Uh, let's see. And then I just arrange those in the order my service will be. So let's say we're opening with a lion and a lamb. Uh, so let's drag lion and a lamb up to right after pre-roll. And then glorious day comes after turn and greet. Uh, and then it's king of all. Uh, let me undo that. Then it's king of all. I got to drag that in the right spot. And then build my life. Boom. So all my cues are already there. I just got to arrange them in the order that the service will be. And now my cues are all ready to go. And I'm not having to spend, you know, hours programming cues every week. And But I'm also not just doing random things every week. Because the thing about busking uh, or, you know, just kind of like going off the, the heat of the moment is you're not getting really specific and great looks for your songs. You're just kind of doing random stuff, right? Well, now I have really specific cues that are already built for me every week, and I just drag them in order, uh, and I'm done. So it's a little work on the front end, because uh, every time you introduce a song, you've got to build a, a cues for it, but it's really simple, right? And so let's go back to this preset uh, idea and see how we build cues. So uh, I'll go to my service cues list and add a new cue. It's really, really simple. So these presets are, again, are like Lego bricks, right? Uh, and I can just go back and mix and match a bunch of these things uh, to do it. So let's say I want to make a new service queue. Uh, and I want, like, say I want the lights to be at half. This is going to be like a prayer time queue or something like that. Uh, let's put my backlights on, like, a light blue. Uh We'll make sure my front lights are, are fully on, so the stage is on. Uh, my bars, I want my bar colors to be my main colors. That's what I use for preaching and for pre-service and all that. I use my main colors preset. Um, my intimidators, let's see. I want them on for sure. Uh, I want them to be the four dots gobo. I want them to be red. I want them to be on the panels. That's the back back wall. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's say this is a really crazy prayer time, and I just want them to be moving. So I'm going to set a, set an effect on them. <coughs> so I've just created a look in two seconds using my presets, and I've got a cue that's that that's built right. Uh, now you might be asking me. Hey, why did you want to use the presets when you could have just gone in there, selected the lights, and done everything from the design view, right? So I could have set the color here instead of having a bunch of presets of the colors, right? Uh, well, I'll tell you why. So uh, my service cues, if you'll notice, all have the main colors preset in them, right? So video, it's got main colors in it. Preaching has main colors in it. Well... If my sermon series changes and now I want my main colors to be like blue and red instead of teal and purple, uh, if I was going in and using the design view to, to create those cues every single time, I would now have to go through every cue and change the color in every single cue. Well, since I'm using presets, I don't have to do that. All I got to do is come to my preset uh, for main colors. Uh, it's on the bars bars, bar colors, main colors, and just edit that. And so let's see, now I'm going to edit this. I'm going to make that one red. I'm going to make this one red. I'm going to make these blue. And then I hit update. And now every service queue just updated the color. <coughs> so instead of spending 15 minutes going through every single queue and having to change them all, all I got to do is change the preset and I'm done. It's super, super intuitive and super, super easy uh, to change entire queue lists with just a couple clicks. And so that's why I've decided that, that this really is the best way to build our scenes. This really is the best way to bring things in. Um, and it allows us, again, to have really sweet Sunday service queues uh, that are very specific and very uh, like appropriate for the song, but it doesn't take a lot to run. It doesn't take a lot to program, and uh, it just makes our lighting look better. And so it's very organized. It's very predictable. 
Um, and I'm not just doing random things every week, but it makes my lighting as good as it can be. So there it is. That's, that's a lot about the philosophy of how we program and how we organize our system. Um, I hope that that gives you some good ideas and that you can replicate that uh, because it's going to make your lighting and your, your worship so much better when you can have cues that are so specific to the song. You know, it can, you can have these sweet effects. In the next few videos, we'll go through how I programmed these effects, how I got the lights moving and the colors changing and all that, and how you can replicate that to create some really sweet presets of your own. Um, but we'll stop it there. I think that 10 minute mark's pretty good. Uh, and we'll go into how to actually create these presets and the strategy behind creating good ones uh, in the next video. So there you have it.